Local educators and teachers groups are upset by the state superintendent's latest actions. Ryan Walters removed the portraits, highlighting the Oklahoma Educators Hall of Fame from the State Department of Education building. Two News Oklahoma's Sam Santama Johnny is live tonight after talking with a trailblazing Green Country educator whose picture was taken down. Samson. Yeah, Naomi, I talked with Don, with Dr. Donnie El Nero Sr., who was inducted into the Oklahoma Educators Hall of Fame in 2011. He's one of the people who isn't happy about those portraits being removed. I heard from State Superintendent Ryan Walter's office today, who told me, quote, this is just a fake uproar distracting from improving Oklahoma's education system, end quote. He says he wants to hi instead highlight students and parents on the walls. There's no, really not any reason to do it. Once again, how many walls do you have in that building uh, where you can uh, uh, showcase students, showcase parents, but we don't have to come in and, and eliminate and to remove those individuals. Dr. Daniel Nero Sr. has a long history in Oklahoma education. He's been a teacher, dean, and president. He's surprised by the decision to remove the portraits of several Oklahoma Educator Hall of Fame inductees, including Francis Tuttle, who forged Oklahoma's vocational tech schools, Dr. F.D. Moon, the first black president of Oklahoma City's Board of Education, and Joy Hoffmeister, Walter's predecessor. In a statement today, Superintendent Ryan Walter said in part, quote, all the photographs will be sent to the local teachers unions. When my administration is over, the unions can use donor money and their lobbyists to take down photographs of students and parents and reinstall the photographs of administrators and bureaucrats. To be able to say, well, I'm going to take these portraits down and put up some parents and recognize kids, that's what these people did. Dr. Nero told me he doesn't need his photo recognized in public, nor does he want to politicize his profession. But he warns Walter's words set a dangerous precedent. No good can come from that. Negative things are, are going to happen. So why does he not want to sit down with uh, public school educators and teachers and superintendents of these schools and, and get some input from them instead of just uh, uh, doing things without some consideration of those people who have uh, uh, given so much for the cause of the state of Oklahoma. And after Walter's office sent me his statements, I asked what association these educators have with unions. In response, Walter's press secretary said, quote, the administration is promoting parents and students. Live in studio, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.